Welcome to this video on the life and philosophy of Zeno of Sidium, one of the most important philosophers of the Hellenistic period. In this video, we'll explore the key aspects of Zeno's philosophy, including his ideas on ethics, logic, and the nature of reality. We'll also discuss the lasting impact of his legacy on philosophy and society. So, let's dive into the life and ideas of Zeno of Sidium. If you enjoy this content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest releases. Zeno of Sidium was born in Cyprus in the year 334 BCE. He was a student of the Cynic philosopher Crates, who taught him the principles of Cynic philosophy, including the importance of self-sufficiency, simplicity, and virtue. However, Zeno's philosophical interests were broader than those of the Cynics, and he eventually left the school to study under the Stoic philosopher Stilpo in Athens. Zeno of Citium developed Stoicism by combining the principles of the Cynic philosophy with the teachings of the philosopher Stilpo. The Cynics believed in living a simple and virtuous life, while Stilpo emphasized the importance of rational inquiry and logic. By combining these two approaches, Zeno created a philosophy that emphasized the importance of living a virtuous life guided by reason and logic. One of the key aspects of Stoicism is the concept of virtue. According to Stoicism, the highest good for human beings is the cultivation of virtue. Virtue consists of four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, self-control, and justice. Wisdom is the ability to make rational judgments. Courage is the ability to face danger and endure pain. Self-control is the ability to resist temptation. And justice is the ability to treat others fairly. Zeno believed that by cultivating these virtues, individuals could live a happy and fulfilling life regardless of external circumstances. He believed that external goods, such as wealth and status, were not necessary for happiness, and that true happiness could only be found within oneself. Another important aspect of Stoicism is the concept of determinism. Stoics believe that all events in the universe are predetermined by the laws of nature and that human beings are not completely free to act. Instead, they are guided by the rationality of the universe. This belief in determinism led the Stoics to emphasize the importance of accepting one's fate and living in harmony with the natural order of the universe. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of self-control and emotional resilience Stoics believe that human beings should strive to be indifferent to external circumstances, both good and bad. This does not mean that Stoics should be apathetic or emotionless, but rather that they should cultivate the ability to control their emotions and maintain a rational perspective in the face of adversity. One of the most famous Stoics was the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, who wrote extensively about Stoicism in his meditations. Aurelius believed that Stoicism provided a practical and effective philosophy for living a happy and fulfilling life, and he applied Stoic principles to his leadership as emperor. Zeno's ethics was based on the idea that the highest good for human beings is the cultivation of virtue. Virtue according to Zeno, consists of four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, self-control, and justice. Wisdom is the ability to make rational judgments. Courage is the ability to face danger and endure pain. Self-control is the ability to resist temptation. 
and justice is the ability to treat others fairly. Zeno believed that ethics should be the foundation of human life, and that virtue should be the highest goal of human existence. He identified four cardinal virtues that were essential to leading a virtuous life, wisdom, courage, self-control, and justice. Wisdom was the ability to use reason and logic to make sound judgments and to seek knowledge and understanding of the world. Courage was the ability to face adversity and endure pain without giving in to fear. Self-control was the ability to resist temptation and maintain one's composure in the face of strong emotions and justice was the ability to treat others fairly and act with moral integrity. Zeno believed that by cultivating these virtues, one could attain a state of inner peace and tranquility regardless of external circumstances. He argued that true happiness comes from living a virtuous life and that external goods, such as wealth or fame, were irrelevant to attaining happiness. The Stoic emphasis on ethics also led to a strong emphasis on community and social responsibility. Zeno believed that humans are social beings and that living a virtuous life required engaging with and serving others. He believed that individuals have a duty to contribute to the welfare of their communities and that living in accordance with ethical principles could help create a just and harmonious society. Another important aspect of Stoic ethics is the concept of natural law. Stoics believed that the universe is governed by a rational, divine intelligence, and that human beings should strive to live in accordance with this natural order. They believe that all human beings have a natural sense of what is right and wrong, and that individuals should use reason to guide their actions and decisions. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of cultivating a sense of detachment and indifference to external circumstances. This does not mean that Stoics should be apathetic or unfeeling, but rather that they should strive to maintain a calm and rational perspective and not be overly attached to material possessions or external circumstances. Zeno also made significant contributions to the field of logic. He developed a system of propositional logic which consisted of a series of rules for constructing and evaluating arguments. This system was based on the idea that all propositions could be reduced to one of three types, affirmatives, negatives, or hypotheticals. Zeno also developed the concept of the categorical imperative, which states that an action is morally right if it can be universalized without contradiction. This idea had a significant impact on the development of Kantian ethics in the 18th century. Zeno's philosophy also included ideas on the nature of reality. He believed that the universe was composed of a single substance, which he called God or nature. According to Zeno, this substance was divine and rational and it governed the natural laws of the universe. Zeno also believed in the concept of determinism, which holds that all events in the universe are predetermined by the laws of nature. He believed that human beings were not completely free to act, but that they were guided by the rationality of the universe. Zeno's philosophy had a profound impact on the development of philosophy and society. His ideas on ethics, logic, and the nature of reality continue to be studied and debated to this day, and his legacy as a philosopher and thinker remains an important part of the intellectual history of Western civilization. Stoicism, the philosophy that Zeno founded, has had a lasting impact on philosophy particularly in the field of ethics.
Stoic ideas on virtue, reason, and self-control have influenced the development of Western thought and have had a significant impact on society, particularly in areas of politics and leadership. In conclusion, Zeno of Citium's Stoic philosophy offers a compelling vision of human flourishing and ethical living. By emphasizing the importance of virtue, reason, and community, Stoicism provides a powerful framework for navigating the challenges of life and cultivating a meaningful and fulfilling existence. Zeno's focus on ethics, wisdom, courage, self-control, and justice offers valuable guidance for modern individuals seeking to live a virtuous life. By applying these principles in our daily lives, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience and become more engaged and responsible members of our communities. Thank you for watching this video on Zeno of Citium Stoic Philosophy. If you found this content informative and engaging, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos. We are going to leave you with a couple famous quotes that you may have heard but never knew where they came from, which are, We have two ears and one mouth, so we should listen more than we say. Man conquers the world by conquering himself.